Well, the very first thing that happens whenever a new release is out is that we do get a lot of uh, bug reports uh, from users that actually try the new features and discover that they have bugs. And uh, that's actually a very good thing. It would be even better if that happened in the QA before the release in the beta. Uh, still, it's very good that somebody's, uh, somebody do point out bugs after the release because that actually allows us uh, to fix them. So uh, a lot of bugs have been raised about the floating panel and uh, I want to quickly go through them to explain uh, what went wrong and uh, what I'm going to try to do to fix them. So this is the first one, which is ugly margins around the floating floating panel with any maximite window. This, if I understood this correctly, is a Wayland only bug and it's not, sorry, I was talking about another bug. Yes, this one is Wayland and X11 and it was actually by design, that is when you uh, maximize a window, you can see that all of the margin between the screen and the floating panel is occupied by the floating panel. And now I guess that people expected the panel to actually lower down and become a normal panel. It doesn't do that, it just expands. And the idea behind that was one, to actually make sure that all of the widgets remain in the same place. You don't want widgets to move when you maximize a window because then you would have that if I just click this button, the button behind my mouse button when I'm clicking then move uh, to the left and to the right and that shouldn't happen. Now I could have tried to make sure that uh, there uh, was like less space occupied so that the panel actually moved down a bit and originally that was the merge request. However that had some issues uh, that is if I tile a window to the left, you can see that it has it has a healthy amount of uh, margin underneath and above the panel. And to actually have uh, the panel only the float on the bottom, this top margin was unfeasible. So to have this top margin on tiled windows, I had to actually make it the float both ways. And uh, believe me. <laughs> so the future, uh, what I'd like to do is make sure that when you actually tile a window to the left or to the left, right or both, the panel still defloats normally because if you have something like this as an example, uh, the panel should not be floating because then you have this which is basically the same and it's not floating. In order to do that, uh, you need to change the check from is anything maximized to either is anything maximized or tiled uh, or also another possible uh, solution is to actually check if any window is colliding with the panel. Both of them are things that could be done and but they actually have to be implemented and when that is done uh, it would allow the panel to actually go down a bit when it's defloating and that would make it much smaller when it's defloated. So that could be a possible solution. Uh, it wouldn't be the perfect one, but the issue is that uh, it, it can't quite become a normal panel because that requires uh, changing uh, the size of the panel window. And that's not quite something I want to do dynamically uh, when you maximize or unmaximize windows. Broken corners. This one is very big and it also applies to floating panels. And not only uh, it has broken corners, but if you're using Wayland and you're using scaling, you will get a very weird bug where the panel actually is bigger than it should be and exits uh, the window. And that is due, I talked to about it in a previous video too, that is due to the mask of the panel, which actually sets the area that should be blurred and contrast effect uh, being bigger than it should. Uh, it almost happens that the scaling is applied two times. So if you have 1.5 scaling, then it's applied one time and then another time. And that means that it will be 1.5 as an example times bigger than the panel itself. So blur and contrast effect is applied in an area which is bigger than the panel itself. Now, I did propose a bug fix that 
actually works. However, the Kwin developers uh, weren't the, didn't agree that uh, with the fact that it was the best approach. So now I'm trying to figure out with them how to uh, properly implement this. But Kwin developers are very busy, so it's kind of hard uh, to do this in a timely manner. Uh, however, uh, that won't fix all of the bugs related to broken corners. This is in general a recurring recurring pattern in KD Plasma as a whole. As an example this bug is only only related to bottom left, bottom right and uh, top right corners. If you have issues with the top left corner too, it means that it's unrelated to this. Then this is actually my favorite because it's a proposal, not a bug, and it's very simple to implement. And that is, you know that it unfloats when you maximize anything. This proposal say, what about not defloating it, defloating it if you're using how to hide Windows can cover and windows go below. Makes sense if you have like um, iOS like doc uh, that actually hides when you maximize anything and uh, appears again if you put the mouse at the bottom. It makes sense for it to still be floating. So I think this is a very good proposal and it's also rather easy I think thing to implement. So big fan will totally do this. This one, line around how to hide floating panel after making it visible over a full screen window. This one uh, was actually known when I did the merge request. It's another of those bugs that are Wayland only and require some help from Kiwin developers to actually fix them because uh, the floating panel is actually doing this correctly. The code of the floating panel is correct. It's Kwin that is doing something wrong and it, it appears in particular fashion on the floating panel. You can see here that there is this line which, which is actually the shadow. So I am unable to draw a shadow around a floating panel. So whenever a panel is floating, the shadow is hidden. Whenever it defloats like this, the shadow appears again. So I actually have part of my code that says if the panel is floating, then show uh, hide the shadow. If it's not floating, then show the shadow. And this works, it works perfectly in X11. However, in Wayland, due to a Kwin, I think, bug, uh, when you hide the shadow and then you show it again, you cannot hide it anymore. So you, if you say again, please hide it, it won't hide for some reason. And although the code is correct, because I am asking the shadow to be removed, Kwin is not actually removing it. So uh, I need to figure out why Kwin is doing this. And uh, right now I have no clue whatsoever. So good luck me, I guess. <laughs> Finally, this is completely unrelated to the floating panel, but it's uh, the last bug that is in my short-term to-do list. So let's quickly go through it. And it's about corners in the header bar, um, in the uh, plasmoid heading actually. And that is, you do have this corner where it sh you shouldn't have it uh, as if the header was rounded. And it is indeed true that if you go see the SVG, the SVG for this is actually rounded, but it's a nine grid. And if you don't know what that means, you should watch my playlist that I made about plasma theming because it explains that and how to actually make a plasma theme. This is part of the plasma theme. And if you have a nine by nine grid, it should be feasible to avoid that. So I need to look into that and see uh, it's probably missing so some code actually make sure that the corner that sh should not be rounded actually isn't. Uh, thankfully, it's not that noticeable uh, by default. Can't even notice it. It's probably very small here. You can see there is some rounding by default. So it has to be fixed, but maybe slightly lower priority compared to all of the other stuff. So these are the bugs that I'm looking at right now. If I forgot any, you can just send me a message with a bug a link that happens, but I will continue to look into them. So that was everything. And before, before we go, if you would like to actually help me out in fixing these bugs, because uh, I do this on my free time and currently I'm under exams from university, I have extremely little time and trying my best. If you'd like to donate something, that would help me a lot. And by the way, thanks a lot to the people who are, act who are actually donating to me right now, even though I'm making a slightly less videos than usual. Again, because of exams, I'm currently trying my best and I hope that's enough for you. If it isn't, uh, sorry about that. See you tomorrow with another video.